All right, good afternoon, YouTube. <clears throat> uh, it's Saturday, January the 16th, uh, 2021. And I want to talk about a couple of things uh, that are, um, that are um, uh, everybody's talking about pretty much. And that's what's uh, going on uh, in Washington, D.C. Uh, the inauguration. Inauguration. So right now, the last I heard, there was uh, 25,000 troops. Uh, I saw another report that had 30,000 uh, National Guardsmen um, there in D.C. So <clears throat> you got a couple of uh, different theories that are going on. Uh, one is that um, they're there to protect the make sure that Joe Biden gets inaugurated, uh, that there's no problems. Um, another report is that they're there to... They're there on behalf of Donald Trump and that they're going to be making arrests or um, arrests or they're, they're, they're going to leave uh, Donald Trump as president. And I've also heard that the military presence is because they're expecting some kind of attack, um, which this one's a little bit more out there. But um, China has uh, the China has uh, troops staged all over the place uh some in canada some in mexico excuse me um <clears throat> all of these um all of these are it's all speculation um in my opinion joe biden is going to be president um i don't i don't first of all the military um the generals they're not gonna tell you if if they're there to uh make arrests or they're there uh to implement the insurrection act they're not going to tell you they're not going to tell the media um it's the military um they're they're their art is uh they're in the art of war which is deception so they're not going to tell you their plans that would be ridiculous so whatever they're there for it, it i mean they're not going to tell you um, that would be a pretty crappy army if, if their plans uh, can just be known by everybody. Uh, you, you got leaks and all that. Um, they'd be cracking down on that like pretty hard. Um, if their, if uh, their opsec, um, operational security was compromised. I mean, they're not gonna just let everybody know what's going on. I mean, if you think about it. So, all these ideas, uh, all these things. Um, it's pretty ridiculous. So, um, now that being said, we're living in some pretty crazy times. I, I've, I've, I heard that the National Guard is always there uh, during uh, inaugurations, um, but I don't recall them blocking streets and um, like such a concentrated force uh, in one spot. So, them being there is very abnormal, you know, so... Like I said, uh, now you got new sources out of the country, um, which they they report more truth than what we're gonna hear from the local media. Uh, you got people looking in, and they kind of know uh, what's going on. Uh, you know, from outside looking in. Uh, I think because we're in we're in the mix, um, we don't really see what's going on. Um, we don't see the forest because of the trees, so to speak, the way they say. So, um, you know, we, we're we're not in Washington D.C. We're we're not at the capitals, um, and I I suggest you know y'all don't go near the capitals. Uh, where they're saying they're saying that they're gonna protest and uh, stuff like that. It's not very smart to be there. Uh, actually, it's very dangerous. You're just asking now uh, to get arrested or shot or or get or be turned into a patsy uh you, you know you can be blamed for some kind of a false flag so um <clears throat> personally i wouldn't be there now you know that that being said you know who knows what's going on um like i said there's they're talking about there's uh foreign powers there's foreign uh entities that that are gonna invade um I've heard also that um, you got 
the military and intelligence agencies at odds with each other. Um, you got one 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 side supporting Biden, one side Trump. I don't know. We're we're not gonna know. Um, I I believe uh, on Wednesday. Uh, the inauguration is gonna kick off. It's it's gonna happen. Um, he's gonna get inaugurated. Uh, maybe you'll find you you might have some um some protests all over the country. Uh, you know here and there, you might have some uh some skirmishes or whatever, some uh, protesting, some uh glass breaking, barricades overturned. Um, you know. You have some agent provocateurs maybe causing some trouble. Some you know you know how they do that. Um. But I think it's just gonna it's gonna come and go. Um, right now, the United States of America is in really bad trouble um, because of the economy. Um, even the military has to get paid. Uh, cops gotta get paid. Um, if the money, if 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 our money is not any good, um, it's losing value. You know how are they gonna pay these guys? Um, I'm sure they'll go, maybe they'll go digital. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they have their own separate um, money that they're using. I don't know. But I do know is that our economy, um, they're printing money like crazy. And with nothing to back it up, uh, there's a lot of countries that aren't buying the bo our bonds anymore. Uh, they're not even buying bonds. Um, some countries like China are actually liquidating their bonds so um because the dollar is garbage basically so now right now we can still buy you can still buy stuff with it uh so i would suggest that whatever cash you have um y'all buy stuff so that because there is going to come a point where you're going to be able to buy less and less it's going to lose value or there might come a day i don't know when pretty soon where the dollar just it won't even be, you won't even be able to use it. Um, it won't be, people won't accept the dollar anymore. Uh, on the international level, that's what they're doing. Um, the only thing is, is that the world, econ the world economy, the global economy is all tied together. So these countries like China, uh, Russia, uh, even though they've been trying to separate themselves from the, from the dollar, um, the global economy is tied together. So, um, you know, uh, if one, one domino falls, they're all going to fall. Uh, some will suffer more than others. Um, so, but here in the West, uh, United States, Canada, Mexico, uh, no, not Mexico, but, uh, the Western countries like Canada, England, France, um, the Western European nations, uh, Australia, they're going to have a very hard time. I, I think, uh, it's almost I feel like they're they're the ones getting targeted. Um the Anglo Anglo West the Western Anglo nations. Um the old European uh I mean uh, the old British colonies, uh those nations are gonna suffer the most, I think. Um <clears throat> so all the wealth is flowing east and um even our food so all these things are happening at the same time, and we have uh, we have uh, here in America the the an outgoing president, and there's there's drama. So um, we're in the middle of an economic collapse, and it's I think it's a global collapse too. But all these things are happening at the same time, and um, it's not looking good. I mean, you you can see um, if you're awake. Um, even if you're not awake, you know, something's, something's wrong. Something's, uh, something's not right. And, uh, a lot of people, they feel something's not right. And, um, but they don't really know how to pinpoint it. But, uh, all these things, uh, what it is, is that the, the vibe, it, it's bad. It's a, it's a negative vibe. And of course we know we're those of y'all that are awake. Uh, y'all know what's going on. The economy's collapsing. Um, they're trying to implement a, a, a health dictatorship using a, 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 a pandemic that doesn't exist. I'm not saying that the illness doesn't exist, but the pandemic, uh, the seriousness of it, um, there's no reason uh, for the lockdowns. 
the reasons uh the reason in my opinion is that they're locking down is because they've they've used up the economic system the monetary system and they've they've drained us dry uh they've stolen all our, all our wealth and now all all that's left is garbage and so so that they don't get caught holding the bag uh it's time to implement the next one the next economic system which is a uh, digital uh some kind of way um that's where it's going so we're in that transition and they're using the 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 this pandemic this health crisis as the excuse but the you know they did a really good job at uh at making people ignorant of what's really going on and it's kind of sad to see because those people that are that are not that are not aware of the details um they're going to drag everybody down with them because they're they're going along with the with the system they're going along with the state and it's kind of crazy but <clears throat> um that's just a sign of that they've lost their survival instinct um you know if you if there's danger you know your mind your body tells you when there's danger and so you stay away from that but uh they've done a very effective job of brainwashing people and those people don't see danger uh that is that threatens their lives when it's right in front of them and so they're going to pay the price and at the same time they're insisting that everybody else do what they're doing um, i'm sure y'all can see that only good thing i can see is that not everybody's asleep not everybody's been brainwashed i see a lot of people standing up for themselves um now but personally when i'm out there in the in the stores and doing shopping or whatever um i mean more than 9.9 uh 9 out of 10 people are wearing masks. Uh usually I'm the one I'm the only one not wearing one most of the time. Um I might see every once in a while I'll see one person not wearing a mask but um so all these things are going to contribute to the acceleration of the collapse. Uh so uh and that's what we're seeing right now. Um I don't know if uh, you know getting back to uh what's going on in dc um these are all signs of the of the collapse of the united states um there's no law and order um another thing very important literally everything you're seeing in the media is a lie it's all propaganda i don't take a side <clears throat> republican democrat I don't take a side because they're all the same the same um part of the same system but it's like they're censoring people uh they're censoring uh platforms social media um news uh sources are getting censored uh they're or they're just basically just taking them off and that's pretty weird uh that they're actually they're 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 lying to your face and they know that you know that they're lying and they still do it uh the election was a was a, was ridiculous uh they stole the election um it was corrupt as corrupt can be and you know the 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 judicial system went ahead and allowed it that you know there's no merit to the accusations um I don't know what happened with Trump. Um, I don't know what kind of game. I, I'm, you know, they're all part of the same thing. Um, but I don't know if it's a like that's a lot of theater. But they're, um, they silenced Trump. They cut him off. Uh, they're, they're threatening uh, not to do any more business with him. Um, I don't know if that's part of the act. I don't know if that's part of the whole theater. But it seems to me like. Uh, more like he was part of a uh another another criminal group trying to take over and um so <clears throat> uh, i don't know but that just goes to show you uh um how bad the situation is everywhere so i just want to do i hadn't done a video in a couple of days um it's just been so so much uh 
so much info, uh, so much uh, misinformation also going out. Uh, a lot of, uh, like I said, the, the media is, they're literally, everything you hear is a lie. Uh, the other stories you see are there, I mean, they're like fluff pieces. They're, they're not important, they're irrelevant. Um, but people like that. People like distractions. And so they're, they're getting fed that. But, um, just use your, uh, use your, um, your discernment. Um, try to, try to get the news, um, from good sources as best you can. Um, on a lot of these YouTube videos, read the comments. You get a lot of good, good comments from people and you get a lot of intelligent, <clears throat> excuse me, intelligence from where people live from different parts of the country. Uh, one thing I've seen is that there is a lot of military activity going on everywhere. Um, like I said, again, I, it, some people are saying that they're, we're getting, we're going to get invaded. Wow. I can't see that. Um, but you never know. Um, but if the rule of law, if, if the government collapses to where there's really nobody in charge, uh, then you'll see people coming in, invading the country. Um, kind of like what happened in Syria. Uh, you'll have proxy armies and um, um, intel intelligence uh, agencies and mercenaries. Uh, you'll see that kind of stuff. Uh, down here in the United States, um, down in the southern United States, you might see a lot of uh, cartels come up. Uh, you'll see mercenaries, contractors. Um, you know, if it gets that bad, you'll see uh, militia groups. Uh, you, you might have warlords, but I mean, that'd be... I mean, if it gets to that point, that means basically the whole world is basically uh, collapsed. Um, I can see that happening here, but I see a lot of a lot of signs that it's possible. Uh, so, uh, you guys uh, just try to stick together with family, get together, get to know your neighbors. Um, Y'all gonna have to put aside your differences. A lot of times, you don't have good neighbors, you know. Um, but the thing is, that's where, that's how you're going to survive. Um, you know, neighbors helping neighbors and family members sticking together. Uh, it We're going to have to help each other because the government is not there to help us. They're there to make money off of us, take advantage of us. And, um, you know, we're just their plaything. You know how that goes. I mean, it's true. It's the truth. So, um, you know... Where I'm keeping my eyes open. Um, again, it doesn't matter with the reason you don't stop prepping. Don't stop uh, stocking up on water, food, other things you need. Um, it doesn't matter the reason. It's irrelevant. Um, just know that you got to be prepping <laughs> right now. <laughs> right now, you better be prepping. Okay? So, uh, guys, um, I'll try to make another video uh, as things come up. Um, I haven't really said anything because, um, like with the Capitol, well, on the January the 6th, honestly, I knew something like that was going to happen, but, um, to me, those kind of things are staged or they're not organic. Uh, they're, they're set up. Um, they're kind of, uh, they're, it, it's, it's kind of directed by whatever group. It doesn't matter whether, um, a leftist, a leftist organization or a, a right wing doesn't matter, <clears throat> excuse me, or an intelligence agency. Um, they're usually not organic. It, it's not natural. Um, they're staged. Uh, there's agent provocateurs. So um, most people, they're going to peacefully uh, do a protest. They're going to try to, even though that that's no good, it doesn't work. Um until law enforcement and the military decides to uphold their oath, nothing's going to change, okay? So, I mean, I don't even pay attention to them because, you know, it's all made up. I mean, not made up, but it's it's um, it's not organic. It's not natural. They're all, they're staged. So, um, I think when you see... When you see things a little bit more intense, uh, maybe then you'll know, and or maybe then you'll know that now something's starting to move, uh, some kind of rebellion or some kind of movement uh, to where the people are, have said that's enough, and you know we're done talking, we're done protesting. It, it's not gonna do any good. Petitions, all that, it ain't gonna work. But anyway, guys, 
Y'all have a great weekend. I'm going to have a great weekend with my family. We're going to enjoy this uh, three-day weekend. Martin Luther King, I hope y'all have a great day. Enjoy your Monday. Enjoy your day off. And uh, y'all take care of each other and love each other. That's what we're here for. God bless.